Today we discuss the opening scene for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Welcome back everyone, this is Mike Zero here once again coming at you guys with a new video involving Luke Skywalker and the opening scene for this film. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Thank you also very much for the kind support, it is greatly appreciated. Now the biggest question that I have received these past couple of months involving this film is Mike. How do you think that this film is going to open since there is no ton jump in between The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi? Now, one thing I do want to tell you guys is that back in September of 2015, they reshot the whole entire ending of The Force Awakens on Great Skellig Michael Island, which is located in Ireland and served for the ending of The Force Awakens. Now, it was a three-day shoot, to my knowledge, and... Well, a lot of you may be asking yourselves right now, why did they reshoot the whole entire ending of The Force Awakens for The Last Jedi? Now, there is a simple answer to this, is that in the very beginning of The Last Jedi, you will be getting the ending of The Force Awakens through Luke Skywalker's perception. Now, here is how I believe it's going to happen. We're going to have an opening crawl. It's going to transition to black space with stars. Then, you know, the camera angle is going to go down. You're going to see the beautiful planet Ock 2. Out of nowhere, the Millennium Falcon is going to exit hyperspace. It's going to enter the atmosphere of Ock 2. This is when we see Luke Skywalker either A, climbing up the steps to reach the very top, or B, we see Luke Skywalker at the very edge of the cliff, witnessing the Millennium Falcon passing by from left to right, as it makes its way for landing. So he could be climbing the steps as he sees the Falcon pass by, or he could be at the very edge of the cliff as he sees the Falcon pass by. However, given that it takes, in reality, in or around 45 minutes at a steady pace to go from the very bottom of Great Skellig Michael Island to the very top, eh, I don't really think Luke Skywalker was standing there for 45 minutes or so. So, Ray had a long ways to go from the bottom of the island to the top of the island. And I think that he definitely was doing something else other than just standing at the very edge of the cliff. So, we could see other things for Luke Skywalker as well in between. Anyways, after the whole shot of Luke witnessing the Falcon entering the atmosphere of Ock 2, you're going to have a shot of Luke Skywalker's face, as if you were looking at him with his hood on. You're going to see Rey walking up behind him. He's going to turn his head, and then we're going to get that profile shot that we got in the production teaser trailer of Luke Skywalker, which, by the way, that whole entire production teaser was shot on Great Skellig Michael Island back in September 2015. So, then you're going to actually have the shot of Rey lifting her arm up with the lightsaber that we saw in that production teaser trailer, and it's going to pick up from that point on forward. So what's really cool about this, and this is so Ryan Johnson-y, right, the director, this is really his style, is that he is going to be giving you the whole entire ending of The Force Awakens and what it was like through Luke Skywalker's eyes. And I think that this is absolutely clever. So I'm telling you, this is how it's going to open. Let me know what you guys think about this below in the comments. We'd love to hear your insight on this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. Thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you guys are new here, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. I'll catch you guys later and have a great time. Bye.